Previously, we have discussed story points estimation and how to estimate user stories. Story points are very useful as it helps the team to define their velocity. The velocity is the measure of how many story points the team can take into a single sprint and is the key metric in Scrum. Velocity is calculated at the end of the sprint by totaling the points for all fully completed user stories. The velocity will be used during the sprint planning to define how many user stories the team can take on during the sprint. And striking the team's velocity helps predicting the team's capacity for the upcoming sprints. By experience, teams take three to four iterations to find their stable velocity. Tracking your team's velocity helps you turn your estimation units into actual time and cost for the business. This can be simply done when we know the velocity of the team. Another advantage about user story points and tracking velocity is the way they account for the difference between an ideal eight hours work day and the interrupted full of meetings day. Team velocity represents the team's capacity with all the messy details of real work. Besides velocity, Scrum team uses story point to track their progress via burn down chart. One axis represents number of story points the team took during a sprint. The other axis represents number of days in one sprint. A burn down chart is a representation of how quickly the team is working with their user stories. The ideal flow of completing the user stories in sprint is by having this straight line. In this example, the team has 25 story points in their sprint and will run a sprint of two weeks, which is 10 days of sprint. During daily scrum, the team will discuss how many story points they have completed the previous day. Then, draw the line by removing the amount of story points completed. Sprint burn down will help team to see very quickly if they are on track or not. If after a few days, the team sees they are above the ideal line, they need to find ways to come back on track. Otherwise, they will not be able to finish their user stories. And if they are way below the ideal line, that means they might finish their user stories before end of sprint, and they can ask product owner for another user story. Story points are useful when discussing planning and cost. Through the use of burn-up charts. On one X, we have the number of story points. The other X represents the sprints. As said earlier, teams needs three to four sprints to have a stable velocity and enough good data. Product owner can use this data on the predictability of the team. In this example, the team has delivered 18 story point in the first, 20 in the second, 15 in the third, and 22 on the fourth sprint. We see the team has delivered an average 18.75 story points, minimum 15 story point, maximum 22 story point. Based on this, product owner can draw the predictive line if the team always delivers on average. Another line if they always deliver the minimum and last line if they always deliver on the maximum. Now, there is two ways product owner can engage with stakeholders using the burn up charts. First, we speak about date-driven planning. Example, if stakeholder asks, what can be delivered in Sprint 7? By drawing the lines at intersection of each other delivery line. Product owner can tell the stakeholder, by Sprint 7, the team will be able to deliver between 100 and 149 story points. Product owner can then show the stakeholder, the user stories from product backlog that will fit in this estimation. Another way to use sprint burn up chart is with scope driven planning. If stakeholder asks the product owner by when the team can deliver minimum viable product. Product owner can look at use of service that fits in minimum viable product and see how many story points. Assuming it is 140, we draw the lines to the intersection of delivery lines. Product owner can tell the stakeholder MVP will be delivered between sprint 7 and 9. An important point to inform your stakeholders, tell them this is not exact science but predictions. The more you work on your product, the more data you get, and the more precise you can be.
Based on this, product owner can give an estimation of budget for minimum viable product. Example, as shown in scope-driven planning, we see the MVP can be delivered between sprint 7 and 9. Knowing the number of people working in the team, we can have the cost of the sprints. We simply multiply the cost of sprint by number of sprints required to deliver MVP to half the cost of the MVP.